While recently painting two bedrooms, Mike shares six steps to paint a room like a pro. He will also share a few pro tips along the way. Finding out as I'm starting to lay tarps down, the entry doors to these bedrooms are in the way. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, spring tools, a uh, little popper, pop the hinges off. Quick way of doing it, and that way I can get these doors out of the way, and I'm not <laughs> opening and closing them constantly. So uh, spring works really, really well. One thing I do want to mention is there's a lot of powder and dust and grease on these that if I just set them on the floor, that grease is gonna get all over the carpet. So either make sure you have a tarp next to you or hold them in your hand. And now the door's off. Use a small bucket or a cut pot to gather all the plates and small items while removing them from the walls. This will save you time and keep everything in a safe place. idea these are white switches to go ahead and at least create a drip edge or a spatter guard on them I usually just take some tape run it over the top of them and the whole point of this is okay I'm protecting it making sure that uh, I'm not wasting time later coming through with a wet rag having to clean off the tops of light switches and outlet covers when it only takes a few seconds to go ahead and cover them up. I know I'm not spraying, but I am rolling. And uh, just in past experience, I'm gonna get paint on the tops of these outlets and switches. So I just wanna cover them up. Now I can work faster, more efficiently without having to worry about paint getting on those. anchors we have anchors uh, that go in and uh, they spread out and if I try to dig those out it's gonna create a bigger hole than I want so there's a way that I do it is I just pop the heads off and then kind of dent them in and now I don't make a bigger hole when I pull them out now there's another type that gets screwed in so for those, I'm not gonna pop the head off, I'm just gonna unscrew them. 
So now the hole doesn't get bigger by me trying to dig them out. So now I can come through, level those off, get them patched. So here we've got a basic reach-in closet. There's no casings or jam. So I've got to paint for this inside edge. One thing I definitely want to be careful of is paying attention to where the clothes are on the inside. So if I'm painting here, I either want to move these clothes out of the way or I want to push them out of the way. So in this instance, there's plenty of room. I'm going to clear them out and make sure that there's no clothes in my way or the potential to get paint on them. So just a quick tip there. So I'll do the same thing. Uh, I've got these patches. They've set up pretty good. I'm using 20 minute mud. I went ahead and filled them, pushed in the mud. They kind of overfilled themselves, kind of bumping out. Uh, now that's not quite set up. I'm gonna go ahead, scrape that off, make it smooth. And obviously filling holes, you get some overlap. I don't want to go ahead and paint right now because now some of the voids of this texture are gonna be filled in. So I usually like to take a sponge now and go over the top, kind of work around the holes and clean off the mud that's into those little grooves. So now when I paint, those grooves will still show themselves but the hole will be filled. So that's the way I found the best way, at least with this knockdown texture, uh, to be able to patch minimal holes. This is an existing satin finish. I'm going over it with a satin finish. I've got these patched areas and I wanted to make sure and spot prime them ahead of time to essentially get three coats on there. You can use regular primer on it. You can use the paint. This is emerald. So it's going to seal this up okay. You're going to hit those patches. So that way when I get the first coat on and the second coat on, I'm not going to get any flashing in the end. So make sure that you're spot priming, especially in those patch areas. That way we, it'll get a nice even finish when we're finished.